I've used bookends to take a lot of notes and annotate many of my PDFs. Here, take a look at this one. Lots of notes and underlines. And over here in the notes stream on the side, we can see the individual notes broken out as well. And this reference is just one of maybe dozens or hundreds in a library. How can I gather them all in one place so I can work with them easily in other apps and workflows? Well, the answer looks something like this. See, each reference is listed along with all the notes and annotations that I or others have made, as well as links back to the references and websites. Let me show you how I did it. First, go to File, Extract Notes and PDF Annotations, then click on Configure, then Extract, or press Command-Shift-E. This window gives you a wide range of options for extracting notes you have entered in references and annotations in PDFs. Let's start at the top. First, this drop-down lets you choose which references and their attached PDFs to target. You can export notes and annotations from your entire library, the hits list, or the references you've selected. If you have one or more groups selected over here, then the only option will be to export from references in that group or groups. Moving down, now we choose whether to export to a window or to a file on the disk. We'll leave it as window and come back to this option later. You can choose to number each reference in the output and to include an entry for PDFs that don't have any annotations. I'll show you an example of that later. Under the Extract heading, you can select what you want to extract. These are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll point out that checking Reference Notes tells bookends to include text from the Notes section of the reference itself, rather than from any attached PDFs. Under the Include heading, you can control additional aspects of the export. Again, pretty self-explanatory, but I'll mention that the Links option add links in the final output that link back to the reference in bookends, as well as deep links from each extracted annotation that take you back to the exact location in the attached PDF. I'll show you an example shortly. I'm ready to click Extract and send the output to a window. This looks good. Notice how the first reference has no annotations. It was included because I checked Include Unannotated PDFs earlier. So I can either copy and paste it, or save it to the disk, which I'm going to do with a right click. I'll save it to the desktop and open it. Notice how each numbered reference has a link back to the original reference in bookends. There are also deep links, which take you back to the PDF and select the annotation for you. The formatting of the reference information at the top of each extracted section is controlled by your selected style and format. Go to Biblio, Default Style and Format to change it. In the top portion of the drop-down, you can choose between things like styled text, which gives you color coding, bolding, and italics as appropriate, and nice clickable links. Markdown, which is useful for exporting to other software, and HTML. In the bottom portion of the drop-down, you can choose the format you'd like. Now I'm going to show you a somewhat different approach. First, I'm going to change the export style to Markdown. Next, I'm going to go back to Configure, then Extract, and tell Bookends to save the output to disk. Bookends will ask me where to save the file each time I extract. But I'll streamline the process by specifying the folder to which the file should be saved. I'm going to save defaults, which will close this window without performing the extraction. Now I can go to File, Extract Notes and PDF Annotations, Extract Now, or press Command-E, and the extracts are automatically saved to the disk in the designated folder. This is great because the note-taking software I'm using, Obsidian, is looking in that folder and can automatically recognize that file I just saved and display it as styled text. This workflow makes exporting annotation from bookends into other software seamless. 
You may also be interested in our tutorial on links and PDF annotations. See the video description for a link. Thanks for watching.